Hey guys, Mads Lions here, and today, today's a different type of video. Today's a story time video with Team Scientist, and today, I figured I might as well, I, like, I was trying to think of what I could talk about for a story time episode, I, and I'm honestly want to do more than just these sort of like more than just this one so I figured I'd start with what is probably the most important my the story of how I could have been a completely different person if it wasn't for two people in an older grade in a relationship yep <laughs> Uh, I'm not gonna, I don't remember most of the details, so it's not gonna be a detailed story or anything like that. It's just a general story. If you've watched a lot of my, like, if you've watched other videos on my channel, I'm a lot more energetic. This is not energetic. This is, this is the real me as real as I want to be. So, there's what if there's one thing you guys don't know about me is that basically I was a bullied child for practically every year. I wasn't bullied. It wasn't just like once every month. It was at most two times a week, possibly three. At most every day of the school week. For every year, from year one, I think even pro like prep, prep through to year twelve, I was bullied. Uh, and I'll, because I was bullied constantly, it started to form an I like a mentality in my head of like, no one cares about me. Why should I care about other people? Uh. So yeah, I literally, I went to three different primary schools because I was bullied. I don't even know why I was bullied in the early years, but it might be because I was just naturally gifted at mathematics. I I don't want to boast that I was good at mathematics. Like, as far as I can boast, uh, like, in high school on one of the tests, there was this, in physics, there was this question about obsidian, and only a few handful of people have ever gotten that question right. And I got, not only did I do the question wrong, I had the time to do it the right way and finish the test. <laughs> like, and I was the only student in the class that got the question right for that year. So, that's as far as my bragging rights go. That and I did finish mathematics before everyone else. <laughs> Although I'm like, I was humble about being the fact about the fact that I was good at mathematics. I was just like, I don't want to redo the same work again. So I'm gonna have the unfair advantage of knowing, like, the work. So I see that as unfair. I I don't want to be put in the class. Well, I'm just sitting there knowing all the answers, and then people will look at me and be like, "He's a know-it-all," and and then I'll just and then I'll turn around and be like, "Yes, I know it all because I've already done it," and then they'll complain, "Why is he doing the work again?" Uh, I and the reason why I know don't do I didn't do that is because. In year 10, that's what happened. Like, I got held back a year in mathematics. That's how good I was. So they held me back a year in mathematics. But they also let me do, a high, like, a higher level math again in that same year. So <laughs> didn't really uh, slow me down that much. <laughs> uh, 
but yeah, I ended up doing two mathematics at at the same time, and then another two, and I think I did once, like year twelve maths in year eleven. <laughs> Anyway, I I'm getting off topic. Um, the that I but yeah, I'm pretty sure I was bullied because I was really good at mathematics. Like again, going off topic a bit. By year five on mathletics, which was a website, I was I did year five math all the way up to year twelve math by the end of the year because <laughs> my the teacher I had then did not believe I was good at mathematics. I showed that teacher that I was good at mathematics and further beyond. <laughs> but yeah, I I was mostly bullied for being smart. So much so that at some point I just didn't care about anyone. I did not care about anyone in particular. Like, I was nice. That was really it. But then, going into mathematics, uh, there's these two two students that I met that were in a relationship. Uh, I don't want to use their actual names, so I'll go with Alice and Ben for their names. Their f the first layers of those names are their first layers, but for the sake of their Social lives, I'm not going to use the actual names. But, mostly what happened was, is like, they let me hang out with them at times, even though I'm in a younger grade than them, and they were in a relationship. Like, I felt like, at the start, I felt like I was third wheeling it, but I did not care if they... They did their, they kiss, if they kissed in front of me, they didn't mind doing it in front of me, it, it was a, it was a nice friendship between the three of us. Mostly, like, most of the stuff I talked about was just mathematics, really, because I didn't really have many interests, interests at the time. Although now I have plenty of interests, like Ruby, anime, and... That's really it. <laughs> and still mathematics, yeah. Uh, but just hanging around Alice and Ben for like the time that they're around and the times that I hang out with them really changed who I was. If I didn't have them in my lives, just there, I, I sort of picked up like compassion basically. Just from hanging around them too. And it was awesome. Like that that made me into who I am today. And like that's the personality you have now. Compassionate can feel I I basically developed empathy through visual learning of this couple. And to Alice and Ben, if you ever, uh, well, to the two people that I'm talking about, if you ever see this video, thank you. You have literally changed my life from Someone that didn't give a damn what happened to someone else. Although I still tend to do that. <laughs> uh, to someone that actually empathizes with someone even if I do that crappy thing. Oh, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> but, yeah. That is the story. Of, of my current personality and like obviously anime and ruby have shaped that horror movies have shaped it a bit as well but the big one was uh, like the couple 
<sighs> well, that's it for story time with DM Scientist. Links to both the channels will be down below for more fun videos. Uh, and also everything I say is, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bells, ding ding, so you know when the next more positive video comes out. I'm Mad Scientist, Mad Scientist, out.